Welcome to the Knowledge Mobilization Basics video series for the Diabetes Action Canada Network. In this first video, I'll share with you why we need to move research results from the research world into the real world so that we can positively improve the healthcare system and benefit the health of everyone, including those living with diabetes. Simply creating research that tells us what works, for example, a new retinopathy screening program to care for the eyes of people living with diabetes, is not enough to make a difference in the lives of people. We must help the research and its outputs, like the retinopathy screening program, get used in the real world so that it can make a difference and positively benefit people. Hi, I'm Julie Makarski, and I, along with Dr. Monica Kastner of the Diabetes Action Canada Knowledge Mobilization Program, have created a series of five short videos that explain what knowledge mobilization is, why it matters, and how and when to do it. We are very excited to share these videos with you, and we hope you will find them a simple and helpful introduction to knowledge mobilization. So let's begin our first video what knowledge mobilization is and why it matters. Did you know that millions of dollars are spent each year to support the important work of research that tells us the what works to improve the health and care of people? That 80% of money spent on research does not lead to the public health benefit that it should? that less than half of all research results ever make it into the real world to benefit people and to improve the healthcare system, that it can take on average 17 years to get research results to be used in the real world, and that as a result of all of these problems, patients do not get the quality care they deserve, or even worse, get care that could be potentially harmful, we must do better. We have a moral and ethical responsibility to ensure that we not only produce important research about what works, but that we also ensure that the results of the research are moved into the real world and used. Why? So that we can improve the lives and health of all Canadians and so that they can benefit from the research as soon as possible. So how do we make this happen? We can achieve this through what we call knowledge mobilization, or what you may have previously heard it referred to as knowledge translation. As the name implies, knowledge mobilization, or KM for short, is all about taking the what works from the research world in terms of research results and moving the what works into the real world so that it can be used. Moving research results into the real world is the only way to benefit patients and the public and to improve the healthcare system. However, this is not an easy thing to do. Knowledge mobilization is a field that includes both the practice and the science of moving research results, or the what works, into real world settings. Knowledge mobilization practice is all about using or applying research results in the real world. For example, a family doctor using a new retinopathy screening program to care for the eyes of their patients living with diabetes. This screening program was evaluated through a research study, which found that the program was able to identify eye health issues in people living with diabetes. Therefore, we can consider this as an example of knowledge mobilization practice because the study result was moved from the research world into the real world and doctors can now use it to help their patients. In terms of the science part of knowledge mobilization, this is about studying, understanding, and improving the best way we can move or use research results in the real world. So in fact, the science part of knowledge mobilization tells us how to best practice knowledge mobilization. For example, if we think about the retinopathy screening program, it is important to figure out how to help doctors use it in the real world. So a study can be done to figure out what may be the challenges doctors face when using the screening program. 
The results of the study can then be used to create an instruction guide to address the challenges. This process of figuring out how best to get doctors using the retinopathy screening program is what we call knowledge mobilization science. So as you can see, the knowledge mobilization science informs the knowledge mobilization practice, and we need both to move research results successfully. There are four key points or considerations I'd like to share with you about knowledge mobilization. One, knowledge mobilization is about changing the way people do things. We are asking people, such as healthcare professionals, researchers, people living with diabetes, and policy and decision makers, to learn and do something new and different that is meant to lead to changes that will ultimately benefit patients, public, and the healthcare system. And this takes time. Two, it is important to think about knowledge mobilization early in the research process and to think about it often throughout the research process. This will ensure a more successful knowledge mobilization effort and it can help to fix those problems I mentioned at the beginning of this video. For example, if we think about knowledge mobilization early and often throughout the research process, we can decrease the average time it takes to get research results used in the research world from 17 years to between one and five years. Three, knowledge mobilization is a team effort. Relationships and people are at the heart of knowledge mobilization and are essential to successful knowledge mobilization efforts. We need to involve everyone who will benefit from the research results or who will actually be using or applying the research results in the real world. For example, patients, healthcare professionals, researchers, and policymakers. We call these individuals knowledge users. And by involving all diverse knowledge users on the team, we will ensure that we are inclusive, fair, and promoting equity in all that we do. Lastly, four, knowledge mobilization is not a one-size-fits-all approach. Different real-world settings will need different strategies to help move the research results into everyday use. Knowledge mobilization helps us to understand what is needed and then enables that movement. We will be exploring these four points throughout the next videos in this Knowledge Mobilization Basics video series. This brings us to the end of our video. So in summary, knowledge mobilization is about moving research results or the what works from the research world into the real world so that everyone can benefit from the research as soon as possible. And remember, moving research results into the real world is the only way to benefit patients and the public and to improve the healthcare system. Thanks so much for watching video one. Stay tuned to this channel for her upcoming videos in this Knowledge Mobilization Basics video series. We look forward to sharing more about the who, how, when, and where regarding knowledge mobilization in our next four videos. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.